How's it going guys? I got a quick video for you guys today. Um, essentially, I'm going to be updating you on what has been done to this M50 block, so stick around. <laughs> So before I talk about what's been done to the motor, I just want to say a quick thank you to Malden Machine of Malden, Massachusetts. At their shop, they gave me an amazing price for all the work that they did, and they gave me all the advice that I needed to know about my engine in order to make sure that, one, I'm getting the right parts, two, the parts are compatible for what machine work that I want done, and if I even need anything more than that. And that's something that uh, they did that was above and beyond my expectations, so I wanted to thank them personally for that. Um, that being said, on to the motor. Apologies for any of the residue because I was taping this off in order to just clean up the side a little bit. But essentially at Molden Machine, they decked the entire block. And by decking, I mean that they resurfaced it, meaning they ground off no more than actually two thousandths of an inch from the top surface. They said the block was actually in really good condition. And essentially what they do is that they would take one side and square it off to make sure that both ends of the block are not off by one thou or two thou or whatever um, they need to do to level it such that it ensures that when they put it into the machine the entire surface is completely flat. Secondly, they honed out the cylinders to about 85 millimeters. Stock bore on this M50 is 84 millimeters. So the kits or the piston sizes that I'm looking towards are all 85 mils so they bored it out to 85 millimeters for me. So not only did they bore it out to 85 mil but when they bored it they ensured that the bore was 90 degrees flush with the actual top of the engine block itself. So it was all squared off from the top as well. And secondly, they wanted to make sure that when the crankshaft was in there, it was also completely perpendicular to the actual cylinder um, walls themselves. And that's amazing. <laughs> So the next thing that was done to this motor was the fact that it needed to be line bored, um, mainly because I just felt like if an engine with 170,000 miles on it, I'm going to take it out, take it apart, you might as well just do the line bore just to be safe. So what a line bore is, is essentially one big bore through all seven of these main caps, such that when the crankshaft finally gets placed in with new bearings or correctly sized bearings, um, the crankshaft is perfectly centered in all of these main cap bearings, so that when it rotates, there's no sort of imbalance or nothing that could cause the crankshaft to rotate erratically. And the coolest thing about a line bore is like once the caps are all lined up again, you can't even feel it with your fingernail. You can't even feel that ridge, which is amazing and that's what you want. And small differences like this in an engine make a huge difference in performance on the, once everything is put back together and running. So a line bore is very essential. So the last thing I had them do was just pretty much replace all these uh, water jacket seals on the side of the motor. Essentially, uh, the way to clean the entire block out very thoroughly is that it would knock these out so that they can get access to the outside of the cooling jacket where the coolant flows inside the block itself. And then they can just replace them with new ones. They usually have the correct sizing right in house and they just press fit these in and then you're good to go. All right, so I have the receipt in front of me of all the work that I've done. So as you can see, strip, the block and then clean it out from the inside, new jacket um, plugs or freeze plugs is what they call it. Um, board out, hone to 85 mil, deck it, line board and then yeah those are the freeze plugs right there and all that totaled to about 1139 even. Alright guys so there you guys have it. The motor behind me has been squared and machined out ready for new parts to be put in. I don't know when all those parts will be purchased because I did just start a part-time job. I don't know how long it's going to take me to save up for some parts. But if you guys know anyone, if there are any companies that are willing to talk to me and we'll negotiate a deal, that would be great because I'd love any of the advice that you guys give me, any suggestions you guys give me. So comment below what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching this quick update video. See you guys around. Bye.